in talking um, highways and streets, there is a uh, change that I'd like to recommend on this <coughs> page. Um, I'll take this opportunity to say what we've done is, uh, because we were not able to put any money in for street paving this year, just because of the guidelines that was set for the department managers are coming in with a zero budget. So uh, one of the things the selectmen did when their deliberations is they took $26,000 <coughs> and put it into the paving account. Um, we have found, because I do want to do paving, we did, this goes back to the two-year plan that I was talking about for waiting two years after uh, we do a major project <coughs> to do paving. Uh, last year, we did do Fairfield, Ruth, and um, Belmore. Belmore streets with the sewer and dra um, storm drain lines. We replaced those. Keith, where are you? You're in a lot of pain. No, he's not. No. 97. You're in no. 97. You're in 97. Right, I'm just, I'm going to be making a change here that will then affect the other budget amount. Okay. So I just want to explain why that I'm doing it. That is not here right now. It's it will be after I get done talking. Okay, but okay. we're all looking for it in this. Right, so right. just hold up for a second. We're lost, so, Keith. Okay, all I'm right. sorry. <laughs> so what, I, but I, what, what I'm Keith. trying to do is we have an estimate of about $90,000 to do the street paving for those three roads to get those finished up so we've got that project done. So I'd like to get $90,000 back into the budget to be able to clean up those three roads. The selectmen have already made a decision to transfer $26,000 from one of my other accounts into the paving account. When we get to the paving account, we're not there yet, you're going to see $26,000 in there. <coughs> so I met with my staff this morning to try to find other areas in the budget that we could trim out okay. to transfer that money to the highway uh, paving account. In fact, I called up Dick this morning DeRocher, to find out because he's been working on the electricity cost for the wastewater treatment plant and he's found some savings there and we're going to be making an adjustment in that account, taking the savings that they found by going to a new vendor and transferring that. So that's just the bigger <coughs> picture. On this page, the reason I wanted to mention that is under stormwater requirements, ha uh, just about down to the bottom, you'll see that we budgeted $55,000 for that program. That's a federally mandated program. It's called MS4, and it's to do with um, federal regulations on monitoring the town's storm drain system. And this is a new program that all the communities are facing or uh, struggling with the cost. Uh, we've actually got together, we developed a correlation coalition to deal with these federal regulations and whatever. We originally had anticipated that this new program was going to cost the town $55,000. But through the process that Chris and I have been working through this year with the EPA, directly with the EPA, and we hired a lawyer, a bunch of towns got together with the approval of selectmen, and we hired a, a, a special lawyer to go in and to take their regulations and work through those to comment on those regulations. Well, the last we've heard from the EPA is not only did we do it, but just about all the other towns in New Hampshire did it. So they've got this huge amount of work ahead of them before they can implement the regulations. So when I first put <coughs> it in, we were understanding that this program would be implemented in around March to June period. But now it's clear with all, all the work they've got just to figure out these federal requirements that that's going to be extended longer. So what I'm suggesting is that we transfer uh, $15,000 out of that account and make that instead of $55,000, $40,000 with the idea that the $15,000 will be shown would, would then go to the paving account. Okay. I think we'll stop at that point and have a discussion. <coughs> Do I have a motion on that? On what? Request. I'll make a motion Call that we you? change uh, item account 4311.1.810 to $40,000 from $55,000. Do I have second. a second? Okay, now discussion. What is the basis for that change? I didn't pick up on that. Okay, the basis on the change is that we're doing this we don't need for a federal funds. program that doesn't have all of its <coughs> stuff in a row. Right. So we won't need as much as we have budgeted in there. 
or as much as Keith originally budgeted in there. Do I have that right, Keith? That's exactly right. I, uh, I have some questions on this line item, if I might. Okay. We can start uh, let's start down at this end. Sandy? No? Okay. No, sir. Okay, we've got, you've put in for 55000 initially, and now you're saying, well, I only need forty. I got that right, right? Right. Okay. What I what I need to understand is what this line item is about in simple terms, because I'm a simple guy. Right. Okay. Now, right. what I understand so far is the feds have said to the municipalities throughout the country, you will do X. Right. And X, we're calling stormwater requirements. I need a simple definition of what X is here. Stormwater requirements. For the last seven years, we've been under this program. It's called the MS4. Municipal Small Systems Permit. Uh, it's an annual report. What they're doing is they're ramping up the requirements. How did we get into under this program? How did that happen? Federal government granted the EPA the authority to proclamate this program. And did we sign off on getting under this program, or was you it forced on it? No, was it you forced. said for years we've yeah. been on this? For seven years we've been on it. So and seven initially years ago, it was this was forced on us. Right. We didn't take any action that says we volunteer or we're gonna get a grant to join this thing. It was forced on us by the feds. Correct. Correct. Right. It's a it's a mandated program. Okay. And in, in the new program, the requirements are increased and now we're gonna start testing actually lab testing stormwater similar to in the way we we currently do with wastewater. They've come up with seven separate parameters that they want us to test for, and they also want us to chase all or possibility of illicit connections, meaning sewer connections, to stormwater, because they don't want <coughs> wastewater being mixed with stormwater and going into the bays. And they're doing this on the basis that there are a number of waters impaired around the state due to, in our case, bacteria. In some other jurisdictions, it's bacteria. Uh, I'm sure there's great reasons. I mean, the, the huge feds, right. feds always have great reasons. The bottom line <laughs> is that what we got to start doing is every culvert that's underneath the roadway, we've got to at least once a year do a test. We got to take a sample during that's a rain that's event that's of yeah. that water that's going through that culvert and do a test and, pro and prove to the government that that's clean. Proof to the feds. To, to, to yep. feds. Yeah, okay. And if it's contaminated with bacteria, we have to chase that back and find out where that bacteria is coming. I assume produce a plan of action to correct. Correct. That's basically what it comes down to. Right. So um, did, did this get, does this, this uh, mandate get blessed at all by uh, the, uh, the state house? Or is this, this, is this is going into policy and if yeah. the federal government correct. I want to understand or not, that's, that's not our role here. No, I want to understand why we're spending this kind of money and whether it's constitutional. Oh. But that's not our role here. Well, no. Whether it's constitutional well, no. or not. No, no. It's not our role. We only took an oath of allegiance to the Constitution. Okay, this right? is going, this is going. So I, I, my question is box. simple. You mentioned that you, you had a uh, hired lawyer. Did he, did he speak at all in terms of how the feds can manipulate municipalities this way? That wasn't his charge. His charge was just to go through up. the permit to look for um, hmm? the permit was written properly. We had an opportunity to comment on the permit that is now being forced on us. So it wasn't looked into. Okay. Not that part of it. Not that I'm aware of. All right. Thanks. Okay. But your instructions are to cover this. And <coughs> your opinion that... We have more time on this zone. Not the whole year. That's why I didn't take out the whole amount. We're just seeing that it's going to be delayed right. by an indefinite period of time. They have. They had a. F they received a thousand pages of comments from all the communities, uh, with various objections, comments, uh, uh, matters of legality. Um, they have to work through all one thousand pages. Comment back on those. Uh, hopefully implement or incorporate some of our comments into uh, the permitting process mm -hmm. and therefore it's been promised to us that the permit's been coming out for the last three years. All right, I have a couple so. of questions on this, well, not to stop I'll you but to kind of limit the discussion. I, we are, but just to home in on, on this because we've kind of <coughs> gone out this way. You're comfortable with $40,000 being able to satisfy what you think we're looking at in 2014? Correct. Okay. And you don't see any deficit that 
with hurt us by not having that other 15,000 in there. No. Okay. Now, should we not need all of the $40,000 next year? Can that, this is a question for the town manager, can any of that be encumbered going forward into 2015? So I'm assuming this is not just a one year problem? No. Okay. It's only going to get more expensive. Fred? It's a continuing expense. Okay. They have to have a contractual obligation to encumber. All right. So, where we are right now is the comfort zone based on this department head on the amount for $40,000. The fairness to every mem other member in this board. Sandy? Just a quick question <coughs> regarding personnel. Who, who's going to be doing this testing, and do you have enough personnel to do this testing? We'll be subcontracting out the testing. It goes the as testing. A, to a subcontractor? Mm -hmm. yeah, you have to be certified lab, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And s most of the lab work can actually be done in our own wastewater lab. That's why we're very comfortable with the price. Good. Okay, going around the table. Any questions? On this side? No, I'm. Uh, you jumped too quick. Yeah. <laughs> got to pay attention. Come on. Well, you All right. <laughs> we got to go backwards. We got. Right. Richard has Wake a question. All right, Keith. If I understand, your intent here is to reduce the fifty-five thousand to forty thousand, because you feel you, that forty thousand, you'll be comfortable to be able to implement that program with the forty thousand. But the second phase of it, where your uh, your intention to transfer that. Other fifteen thousand to another account? Correct. Mm -hmm. To the payment <coughs> account. Okay. Mm -hmm. That has zero Next in page. it. Yeah. No, that has twenty six thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or had zero in it. Right. Okay. Well well to to the uh Paving, paving account, right? Right. On page 99, top of the page, paving and reconstruction, <coughs> you'll see that has the selectman put in $26,700 right. in an effort to beef up the paving account. And you want to increase that by the 15000 from... Plus some others. That's why I kind of gave you that whole litany of events mm -hmm. before to explain what I was trying to do. Well, do we need a, a, a further... Motion well, we have to make that transfer, we or we, we just no, no, we're not gonna, we're not there. We're just, no. we're, we're just gonna reduce. All right, let's, we're gonna reduce right. this. All right. right. Okay. One thing at a time. He brought it right. to our attention because this piece is where we are right now. So right. where we are right now is we're looking at this line for fifty-five thousand and reducing it to forty. Forty thousand, mm -hmm. not forty okay. period, mm -hmm. and that would give us a subtotal of one million three hundred sixteen thousand seven hundred and seventy. For a subtotal, yeah, we've got engineering down on the bottom, so hold your hats for a minute. I just want to get this cleared. Fred, my figure's okay? As I can say, yeah. Okay. We have a motion. We have a second. We in agreement to this amount. We got a move. Figures Hello. again. <coughs> to reduce the $55,000 yeah. to $40,000, so therefore we are reducing the subtotal by $15,000. For a new total of one million three hundred sixteen thousand seven hundred and seventy. Are you going mm -hmm. to this whole? That's tell us everything here in this page. No, oh, we, still have, we, we still have we still have the bottom, but I want to just right? okay, we're, we're dealing yep. with the subtotal there, so I'm dealing with the subtotal there, and we'll change it when we get to the bottom after the engineering. Okay. So we have. Is, are we clear on that? All right. Yeah. All, all those in favor? Make it so. Opposed? Abstained. Thank you. Did you have all that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we have one piece to finish up this section, and that's on the engineering. Well, no, that's <coughs> what I was asking. I didn't.